all the way up. And then one more time, drop the head down and look up. Good. And then let's just rest our gaze down. If it would feel good to you to close your eyes, close your eyes, relax your jaw. And start to be intentional here with your breath as we set our intention, our focus for our time in here today. Let's just arrive onto our mat. Feeling the sensations, the smells. Just taking a quick inventory, a quick survey of your body. Relaxing your neck, your jaw. If it would feel good to you, put your right hand on your belly and maybe one hand over your heart. And take a slow three count inhale and breathe in, low belly, mid belly. And then open the mouth and exhale, release all the air from the lungs. And then do that again, breathing in, low belly, mid belly, all the way up into the heart, clearing out the cobwebs in the mind, to visualize that here. And then exhale, and do something. I want you to keep doing that three count breath in and out. I'm going to read over you, settle your mind, and for us to have a focus for our practice today. Psalm 4610. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among nations and I am exalted in the earth. As you're surveying your body, your mind, your heart, do you have an agitated soul? Are anxious thoughts weighing you down? Know that God sees all that you're carrying all the people you're concerned about, all the ways you fear, maybe you're long short. He is aware of all of it. He invites us to be still, despite all the thoughts clamoring for your attention. He waits for you. He is in the present moment. So everybody, take one big deep inhale and circle the arms up above the head. Breathe in a focus word, something that you want to continue to keep your mind fixed on throughout the practice today. And then exhale out, bring arms down. And then let's take our left hand down and our right arm up overhead, getting a good side body stretch. And then both arms come up, lean back, open the chest, and then the other side. Big inhale, big exhale. Good. Everybody, all the way up for me onto your knees. Scoop the arms up and then bring them back behind you. Make a clasp. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff to stretch out our neck, our shoulders, and our hips and hamstrings. Head up, head down, head up one more time, and then head down. Everyone, take your right leg out to the side and then your left arm down and reach. Over, getting that good side body stretch. Good, and then walk the hands up and around, and walk the hands all the way over. Good, turn those front feet just forward to face me, but then lean over that straight leg. Pull the hips back an inch for that really great stretch in the inner thigh and groin. Walk the hands back and come all the way up. And you can remove that block if that's bothering you right there. Come all the way up for me. I want you to tuck your toes under now. Put one hand on the back hip, put one hand on the other hip, and lean in a modified camel pose here. Opening up the heart, dropping the head back. One inhale, one exhale. Inhale, slowly come up, bring the arms up and over the head, and then reach that left foot out, pushing that pinky toe down, bring that right hand down, and reach the left arm over, lift up in that right hand. Inhale, y'all are going to be opposite of me, it really doesn't matter. Inhale, exhale, walk the hands over to the side, just make sure you're doing one of them. Good, lean over that straight leg, and then pull back, work to pull the hips back a little bit further. 
Straighten that front arm, the arm that's out in front. Maybe one foot is pulling towards your pinky toe. And one hand is reaching out in front of you. Breathe in. Exhale, slowly come back up for me. Good, scoop the arms back up, tuck the toes back under. One more time, camel pose. Maybe your fullest expression, your hands can come to your heels. You can push forward for me. Big inhale in. Big exhale. Slowly and carefully come up for me and then turn on your mat or just come right down for me and start with a few rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round and really puff up through the back and the spine. And then inhale, look up. Exhale, round and push the tops of the toes into the mat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Good, pull back into your first child's pose. Again, just surveying the neck, the shoulders, your jaw, your hips. Take a big deep inhale in. And then take a big deep exhale. I want you to take your hands together out in front of you. Bring a little thumb to the skull behind your neck to stretch your triceps. Take a big breath in and a big exhale. Release the hands out in front of you. Good, and then walk the hands back underneath the shoulders. Good, coming into our first downward facing dog, press back into your heels. Stretching those hamstrings, alternate here, your right heel down, bending your left knee, and then Back and forth, walking your dog, maybe move your hips to the left and the right. As we just start to worship the movement today, everyone, as you press your heels into the ground, press your palms in, open your mouth, and just release something that needs to come out. Shake the head side to side. Everyone, take one big deep inhale in, come forward into a strong plank, and then drop to knees. I want you to reach your right arm high. And then just gently weave it underneath the left, but don't fall down yet. Weave under, and then bring it all the way up, and then weave it under, and then bring it up. And then I want to do that one more time, but then drop your right ear on the mat. Lift your left arm up, and get a good spinal twist. You can bring that left hand to reach back to reach your right hip bone. Breathe in, exhale. Try to release something in your neck, your shoulders, your jaw. Slowly unwind. One round of cat-cow. Inhale, exaggerate this. Exhale, round. Good. And now lift the left arm up, open through that chest. Weave it underneath. And then lift up and open. Weave it back underneath. And up and open. Good, and then all the way under, drop the left ear down. Reach the right arm up. Good, that right hand can weave back behind and land on that hip bone. Try to relax. Move that right shoulder blade, maybe in a circle, just to signify that you're working to release and to let go. Little moments of stillness throughout our practice today. I want you to continue to keep coming back to your focus and your attention. So we come back to all fours for me. Good. Tuck the toes. Come back into downward facing dog. Reach your right leg high. Flex your foot. Bend your knee. Peek out underneath that right armpit. Maybe try to lift your right fingertips or your right palm off of the ground, flexing that right foot hard, opening up in the hip. Big inhale, big exhale. Straighten the leg, lift that right heel up higher, press the palms in, almost coming into a standing split. And then drop the foot down, reach the left leg high. Then the knee, open in the hip. Take just a few breaths here, really opening, flexing that foot. Try to lift those left fingertips off of the ground. Good, flexing the foot hard. Take one more inhale. 
One more exhale, straighten the leg, lift the heel high, really working that heel, squaring the hips to the back of the room. Beautiful work, ladies. Both palms press equally into the mat. Good, lifting that left heel. Good, put the foot down. Nice, and then inhale, lift the right leg high, slowly swing it in between the hands. I want you to drop your left knee down, scoop the right arms up, low lunge. Come into gold pose arms. Good, and then pull and circle the arms back down, push into the hips here, and then pull all the way back, half split. I want you to flex that right foot hard, pull back into that half split, walk the hands now over to the right side, and now work to bend those elbows, drop the forehead, Inhale, exhale. Come forward for me, pull back, then one more breath here, pull back in that half split, and then push forward, inch your foot over to the side of your mat, and open up your right knee. Now you can stay here, or to deepen the stretch, take your left foot and inch it back an inch. Good, so I want to use the block here as we come into lizard to just drop down. Modification here of a pigeon, really good to open the hips, the groin. Again, notice your neck. Take a big breath in here and an exhale. Good, so like walk the hands back up. Use your right hand just for a breath to press to open the knee. Big breath in, exhale. Walk the hand back to the center. I want you to scoop the arms up one more time. Exhale, circle it down. Good, lift that knee up for me. Now lift your right arm high, low lunge twist. Push your right big toes into the mat, squeeze to activate the quadricep muscle. Beautiful work, ladies. I love seeing all the energy in your top hand. Good, circle the arm back around. We're gonna do some cat-cow here in our low lunge position. So inhale, I want you to look up and arch your back. Let the hips sink. Cool. Inhale, round. Great place to use two blocks would be right here on those hands. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Big inhale in. Big exhale. Awesome work, everybody. I want you to slowly let your right knee hover into your chest and then come into plank. We're gonna drop our knees down and slowly come into cobra. So just a small up dog here, cobra, pressing the palms in, pressing the tops of the feet in. Activate your upper back here. Big inhale, big exhale. Push through the push up for me, and then tuck the toes back under. Left leg lifts, comes in between the hands. Let that knee hover in because you know where we're going with it later. And then come into that low lunge. Drop the hands, scoop them up now. Good, breathe in. Gold post arms, they come out, they open the chest. Take tension out of the upper back of the neck. Bring the arms all the way down and now straighten that left leg. Definitely gonna be using two blocks here. Inhale, exhale, pull back. I want everyone to intentionally flex your left foot. Shake your head side to side now. Good, walk the hands over to the left side. I'm gonna bring one of the blocks with me. Good, breathe in, stretching into that side body as well as the IT man. Big inhale, big exhale. Good, really wanted to start off with some really good hamstring and glute stretches here. Pull back one more time and half split. Good, and then push forward for me, low lunge. Scoop the arms up. We're going to circle them around one more time and then walk that left foot to the left side of the mat, getting ready and set up for lizard. Remember what I said? You can bring that right foot back an inch. Good. Now I like to come to the knife edge side of my pinky toe, lifting up those big toes off of the mat, or all the toes, big toes, two big toes down on one foot. Everybody drop down for me. Great place to use the block is underneath the elbows. Let's take two breaths intentionally here. Check in, inventory your hips. 
Exhale. Take a big deep inhale in. And then exhale, use the hands to push up. Press in, walk the hands back for me right here. Good, your foot is now in between your two hands, extend up, strengthen that right leg. I want you to feel strength. I want this right leg to be strong. Your right hand is down, your left arm goes up. Look up to your middle finger, push your left big toes into the ground. Getting a really good glute strength stretch, but also strengthening the quadricep. One more inhale in. One more exhale. Bring your arm all the way down. Cat cowing now with your back on this left leg. Inhale, look up, let the hips sink. Exhale, round. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale. Good. Left knee hovers in. Come into plank. And you can go into that cobra or go back in right into upward facing dog here. Whatever feels better for you. Stay here. Head circle right. Head circle left. Hips move left. Hips move right. Just feel you feel tension in those hip flexors. Good. Now, everybody, all the way down for me. I want you to extend the arms out in front of you. Lift up with the arms first. And now lift up with the low body. Take a big deep inhale in. Head is down. And you stay right here for me with the low body, but the upper body, the arms circle back around. And maybe make a clasp behind you. Inhale. And exhale. Release the hands. Push all the way up and maybe a downward facing dog. Beautiful work, ladies. Shake the head side to side. Let's go through one regular vinyasa flow here. So I'd love for you to come into plank. Slowly lower down, let the elbows hug in. You can drop to knees or stay in that full push up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Everyone, let's take your right leg up high. Slowly bring it in between the hands. Hold. Bring the arms up. Press at lunge. Good. Now, I want you to hold this here for me. Make sure the hips are square. Circle the arms. Opening up the chest, the shoulders. We're going to make a good bit of arm circles. And then let's flow through and take our vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, float the left leg up. Slowly bring it in between the hands, hover it in, come into the crescent lunge of that left leg in front, hold. Sink in a little deeper. Straighten the arms a little bit more. Circle the arms back and around. Come into that vinyasa, flow through strong. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take your for me for two breaths. Move the hips right. Move the hips left. I want you to just mentally prepare for just movement and worship through movement here as we come into our sun salutations to bring some more heat into the body. Everyone, one more big deep inhale in here. Open the mouth and exhale. Inhale, reach the right leg high. Slowly bring it in between the hands, and you're going to rise up again for crescent with a little more speed. Circle the arms down. You do it at your own pace. Come into plank. Maybe you took a single leg plank today. I don't know what kind of workout you've done today or did yesterday, but if that's an option, left leg lifts. Bring it in between the hands. Rise up. Exhale down. Dance and move and just flow to the rhythm of your breath as you continue with now the right leg and then the left leg each time. Sinking in with that crescent lunge, keeping on your mat, no comparisons in here. Each time working to open up the hips, strengthen the mind, strengthen the body. Big inhale as you scoop the chest forward and that hot dog whenever you head that way. 
when the arms come up, use the inhale to bring in whatever it is you need to bring into the body. Continue that deep breath. Continue to stay right here on your mat. Good. And as you come into these next few crescent lunges, I'd love for you to bring the arms all the way up. Let them reach together and then come all the way down. Can you move through one more on each leg and then meet me in the child's pose? Your own pace. Beautiful work, ladies. Beautiful, Kelly. Nice to see. Great job, Fran. Awesome, Julie. Nice, Amanda. Great work. There, yes. Awesome, man. There. When you head into that child's pose, look at these wide. Sink into the hips. Turn the palms up. Just have a moment here to receive. Foreheads drop down to the mat. Take one more big inhale and in. feel your back rise. And then exhale. Slowly turn the palms down. Push the palms into the mat for me and just allow the hips. Use the palms, press the hands, press the hips down just a little further to get a little. Opening in the hip flexors in the groin. So then walk the hands underneath the shoulders. Come back for me to all fours. Bring your feet together, your knees all the way together now. And then push back to the feet together, downward facing dog. Good. Everyone, lift the right leg high. So they bring it in between the hands, hit that crescent. Bring the hands all the way together. Drop the hands in the heart center and now open it up to warrior two. Sink in a little bit deeper for me to warrior two. Good. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Big inhale, keep that bend of the right knee. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, reverse. Or you can call this peaceful warrior. Warrior two. Cartwheel the arms down, really coming deeply into that line, just being intentional there. Vinyasa, flow through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, reach the left leg high. Slowly bring it in between the hands. Rise up. The crescent hands come together. Drag the hands to heart center. Open it up to warrior two. Sink in a little deeper. Use that left hand to open up that left knee. Squeeze that right quadricep muscle. Flip the palm. Reverse. Exhale, warrior two. A little deeper. Reverse. Warrior two. Cart both the arms down. Beautiful work, ladies. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, reach the right leg high. Exhale, bring it in between the hands. Bring the arms all the way up. Press it. Hands come to heart center. You open it up to warrior two. One reverse warrior. Big inhale, hold here. Straighten your front leg for me. Good. Everyone, keep the leg straight, active, and strong. Come forward with the arms lean and come directly into a triangle. Good. Great place to use the block is in front of that foot. That would feel good to you. Push your hips forward. Squeeze both quadricep muscles. Great work, everyone. Hold here for me. Good. I want you to slowly take your left hand down to meet your right. One hand comes in either side of that right foot. Scoop your left foot up. About a foot, come into pyramid. Bend both elbows. Try to even out the weight between both feet. Can you flex your right foot? Peel the right toes off the mat. Yes. 
Big breath in, big breath out. Shake out the head, the neck, the shoulders. Good, everyone step the left foot to meet the right. Inhale, look up with a straight spine. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, root to rise, bring the arms all the way up. Exhale, fall all the way down. <sighs> Inhale, look up with a straight spine. Exhale, down, step walker lightly, jump your feet back. And take the vinyasa flow through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. <sighs> Left leg lifts, floats up, and then comes in between the hands. You rise up to a strong crescent. Hands come up and together. Drag the hands in through the heart center and then open it up to warrior two. One reverse warrior here. Inhale, keep that deep into the left knee. Hold. Breathe in. Exhale. Now, straighten that left leg. Good. Do that really deep stretch of the hip and the oblique. Let that right hand inch down the leg a little further. Good. Now, cartwheel the arms up and down to triangle. Good. I'm going to place my block right here. I'm going to really open in the chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Push the hips forward like you're in a window pane. Your energy in your top hand. Beautiful work, ladies. Right hand comes down to the ground. Left hand comes to that left pinky toe. Bring that right foot up. Coming into pyramid stretch here. We first square the hips. We then just set up, maybe using two blocks. Maybe your hands come all the way down to the ground, but you really the key here is square hips. Option to bend that or to peel those left toes off of the ground. Bring that deep left hamstring stretch. One inhale in. It's okay to say whoo right there. Inhale. Whoo, feel it. Exhale. One more breath here. Deep hamstring stretch. Inhale. And then big deep exhale. Bring your right foot up to meet your left. Good. Inhale, look up with a straight spine. Lengthen that spine. Exhale down. Bend the knees, root to rise, scoop something up. Exhale, fall all the way down. Inhale, look up, straight spine. Exhale, step walker, jump your feet back. And then inhale, scoop up the chest, the heart opens. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg comes up. We're going to add on to that. Bring that knee into the chest. Come up to crescent. Drag the hands in the heart center. Open it up to warrior two. One reverse warrior. Hold there. Straighten that right knee for me. Lean back a little further. Getting that deep hip flexor stretch. Then cartwheel the arms all the way down to triangle. Good, push the hips forward. Now, from this triangle, we're gonna bring our left hand down, coming into revolve triangle. I like to bring my left foot up just a little bit for revolve triangle, and then using the block either in front of my big toes or on the pinky toe side. Big inhale, deep IT man stretch. Left hand is down, right arm is lifted. Pushing the right big toes in. I'm in a full shake here. Anybody else? You guys are doing awesome this time. Good. Inhale. One big exhale. So difficult. Bring that hand down. You're in that pyramid stretch right here. Big inhale. Big exhale. Really working to release that hamstring from pyramid. Revolve triangle is a great setup for revolved half moon. So that's what we're going to be moving into next. So what I'd love for you to do, so if you have a block, you'll take your block out in front, your left hand will go on top. You'll set up like warrior three, but then you lift your right arm up and you work to straighten your right leg. Good, so the top body is revolved. The lower body is in warrior three position. That's revolved half the amazing. Everyone, bring both hands down to the ground. Come into standing L right here. Good. Hold, hold, hold. Good. Now bring both feet together for me. Hold on to those elbows. 
And you just drop those elbows down to the ground, bend your knees and actually rest the chest on the knees. Allow that back to round. So go to the neck here. Big inhale. Big exhale. Everyone, I want a big deep inhale. I'm going to scoop up on the arms. Ready? Three, two, one. Inhale up. Good. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, look up on the straight spine. Exhale down. Step walker like. You jump to your feet back. Let's vinyasa flow through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Slowly bring it in between the hands. You rise up to your crescent lunge. Good. Bring the hands to heart center with control. Warrior two, get deeper. Good. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Keep that deep into the knee, over the heart. Tilt up, straighten the left leg. Good. And heart really arms into triangle. Good. Hold. Push the hips forward. Squeeze your right glute cheek. Good. Inhale. Bring your right hand down. Left hand comes to the left pinky. Scoot your right foot up. Just one breath in pyramid here. Big inhale. Big exhale. Plant the right hand down now close to the right foot. You can use your block or not. Revolve triangle first. Good. One of my favorite stretches for the IT bear, which is super tight. Big inhale. Big exhale. Work to get your right heel a little bit closer down to the ground. Square the hips. One more breath. Lift with energy your left fingers. Go ahead. Bring both hands down to meet the mat. Good. Come into standing L here for just a moment. One inhale, one breath. One exhale, right back to pyramid. Maybe bend both knees, straighten both legs. One more time, bend both knees, straighten both legs. Good, let's set up for revolve half minute. So place your block out in front of you. Your right hand goes on your block. Let's first lift your right leg up like warrior three. Lift your left arm now and revolve the upper body, breathe in. Exhale, try to shift your gaze to your middle left finger. Flex your foot. Can you lift that leg a little higher? Try to straighten that left leg. One breath, inhale. One exhale, amazing job. Foot bones all the way down for me. Great work here. Everyone, take your right hand under your right foot, your left hand under your left foot. Bend the elbows, let them come out wide, and drop the knees on the chest. Well, that great stretch of the neck, the shoulders. Work to straighten the legs just a little bit. Release the hands. If you want to use the block right here and come up into this half look, and then drop all the way down. And then inhale, scoop the arms up. And then exhale all the way down. Great work, everyone. Inhale, look up. Exhale down, slowly step walk or jump your feet back. And let's take our vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, great work, everyone. Down dog. Awesome. Can you slowly shake the head side to side? Look to the front of the mat now. Step walk or jump those feet up. And then I want you to inhale, look up, lengthen that spine. Exhale down and then scoop the arms all the way up. Exhale, bring them back behind you, make the clasp. Open the chest, lean, straight spine, feet are together right now. Come to that flat back position, and if this is okay for you and your back, stay here. If you want to go down a little bit further, you could drop all the way down, drop the head down, let the hands come over. Everyone, wherever you are, bend your knees, straighten your legs. Slowly lift up. Oh, hamstrings. Awesome. Shoulders back. Take the legs out wide. Let's bring the hands into heart center and let's sink in and really open up these hips. Good. Low yoga squat here. Take it real low at first. Bring the hands right back into prayer. Drop the head down. Take a moment here just to reset focus and tension. 
Keep going back, stay in. Drop the left hand down to your left heel. Reach the right arm up. Good, stay. And it'll feel good to you to take a half line. Take your right hand back behind you. Maybe you want to try a full line. You take your left hand under and you try to work to grab the touch. Maybe some little fingers. Good. And now release. Come back. Low yoga squat. Press out on the elbows and the knees. Right hand comes down to your right heel. Left arm floats up. No neck tension here. Good. Your choice. Stay here. Or to come into half bind. Again, roll the shoulder blade back and down. Or full bind. Take a big deep inhale and release the tension in those shoulders and your neck. Good, everybody. Come back for me right to the center, low yoga squat. Place the hands down on the mat. Turn the feet forward for me now. And we're gonna work into our crow pose. So everybody rise up to the top of the toes. Hold here. If anything, we just stay right here, activating our abdominals, putting our knees onto our triceps, working up into the armpits, right knee up, left knee up. Pull in through the low belly using the abdominals. Amazing. Great work. Everybody come back for me to low yoga squat. Good. So one of the reasons why I like to open up each side here is because that makes you get open more in your knee. Good, and it works with me underneath the armpit. So for crow, I know that feels funny, but it's like you've really got to nestle your knees up into the armpit so that they can rest on your tricep. So one more time, nestle in there, and then one forward. Always love to put in that block under the head. In case you decide to do a front foot. Good. <laughs> this is a front foot. Front foot, front. I've done it many times. That's why I like that the block there. Good. <laughs> awesome, everybody. Great work. Quick little clap out, and then I get your heart rate up there, too. Proud of you guys. Drop that head down. Let's sink it just for one more breath on the yoga squat. One of the best exercises. Really, just to allow the abdominal muscles to let go, to release, big breath in. Exhale, move the intestines, pull it. Good, hands come down for me. Walk those feet back, come into plank. And let's take our vinyasa flow. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Everybody, last plank here, hold. Slowly through the top of the push up, elbows hover in, come down, come down, come down, and then reach the arms back out in front of you. Reach the arms up, reach the legs up, squeezing the glutes here. Big breath in, big exhale. Can you lift up, strengthening the back body for three, for two, and then all the way down for one? Good. Everyone, take your left hand. Put it underneath your forehead. Take your right hand out in front of you and then scoop the right hand around. Bend your right knee and try to grab on to your right big toe. Good. Or maybe you turn that hand around and really work to stretch the quadricep muscle, the hip flexor. Also, a great shoulder over. Breathe in. Exhale. Release the foot. Bring the right hand under the forehead. Left arm first comes out in front. Then it circles along the side and it comes back to reach for that left big toe. Inhale, hug that big toe in. Try to relax the neck, relax the shoulders. Breathe in. Exhale. Good, everyone. Press all the way up for me to hands and knees. Circle those knees around. Grab a block. And place the block in between the knees and then slowly roll all the way down. Tabletop position here, but today, only your elbows to press against your knees. Good. Squeeze the block. Lift the head up for me for just one deep inhale and in, contracting the abdominals, squeezing the block and one exhale. Good. Bring the arms out to the sides, press the palms in. 
drop the knees with the block over to the left side. Good, and then slowly bring the knees up and over to the other side. It's a gentle spinal twist here, but also activating the abdominals. Good, bring the knees back in through the center. One more time, drop them to the left side. Try to drop your right shoulder blade down a little bit. Come back to the center and to the other side. Back to the center. Let's realign the spine, the back. Hands come to the knees now. Knees pull against the hands. Hands press against the knees. Activating the lower belly. Close your eyes and breathe in for three and two. And one, release the block. Good. Put the block underneath your head. Good. If you don't have a block, it's still perfectly fine. Everyone, hands down, lift the hips up in a bridge. Good. And now slowly drop the hips down. Release the block down. Just wanted to get one little stretch there. Different way to hold the neck and now lift the hips up all the way peel the hips up higher loop the hands underneath the hips push the heels into the ground coming into a bound bridge here lift the big toes off of the mat squeeze the glutes one big inhale and puff up the chest one exhale release the hands one vertebrae at a time Come down for me. Good. Knees come up in a tabletop position. Cross the right knee over the left knee. Reach up to the shins or the ankles and work to pull these feet apart. Good. Really great glute stretch. Slowly unwind. Let's do that on the other side. Work to pull those feet apart. Good, really great pheromone stretch there. Now everyone hug the right knee into the chest. Bring the right knee up and over to the left side and reach the right arm up in a diagonal line. Getting a deep spinal twist here. Taking a big breath in and a big exhale. Think about what's going on right here with your shoulders and with your neck. Slowly take the knee into the chest. Gently place it down on the mat. And then bring the left knee into the chest. Hug the left knee in. Flex the left foot. Hug it in a little bit more. And then bring it up and over. Let it fall across the body. And then that left arm is turned and pull up. Each breath, just try to release that left shoulder, twist out, lean out like a washcloth, whatever it is that you need to right now, right here. Big inhale in, big exhale. So let's take that knee back into the chest, bring the other knee up to meet it. Split the knees out wide. Come here to our last posture. Happy baby. Open up the hips. Rock right. Rock left. Use the elbows to press out to open the knees. And just turn up the corners of your lips right here, visualizing that little baby in a cradle. Just that childlike joy. Very deep inhale in. Big exhale. I want you to really circle the knees out wide, stretching that hip ball and socket. If you make just two circles, you can use the hands, little reverse circles with the knees. And then hug the knees into the chest, bring the nose into the knees, breathe in for three, for two, and then on the one, rest. Bring the arms out, palms up, let your feet spread out. Get completely comfortable here. Heart is open. Mm -hmm. 
today we have a choice. We can carry our own burdens and try to solve them on our own, or we can lay them at the feet of God. His love surrounds you and reaches into the future, preparing the way for you. It reaches into the past and breaks the old. He is in the present. Be still and know that he is God. He is exalted among the nations and exalted among the earth. He sees you, he knows you. His love surrounds you. Start to just wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Move your head left and right. Breathing in his peace, his presence. The love that fully surrounds. So we roll over when you're ready to the right side, cradling the skull of your head with your arm in the heel position here, taking a few transitional breaths. Grateful for the body that you have with the time that you made. Reminding yourself as you transition into the next part of this day Jesus, to be still. That just needs to be in His presence throughout the time of the days. So they rise up for me when you're ready. Legs are crossed and gently just rest on your knees. You just drop your head down. All going to take one big deep inhale in together, just sealing our practice. One big deep inhale in, lift the chest, lift the heart. And then take a big deep exhale. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Awesome.